So I just realized that I forgot to film an intro for today's video, but we are taking the Wrangler 392 off-road with Elise. <laughs> Hopefully I got you in the camera view properly. We're going out with uh, Brendan, who is uh, one of the salespeople at the BMW of Pleasant Grove. So if you're looking for a new BMW, check them out. I'll include a link to their website. Just uh, make sure you ask for Brendan. He's got a Gen 1 Raptor. We were originally going to go out to 5 Mile, but all of the trails basically recommended side-by-sides. And so I'm like, you know what? We're going to switch it to Little Moab because he's actually never been to Little Moab. So it'll be exciting to see kind of like the, the uh, Wrangler 392 versus the uh, Raptor. And you're going to be doing mostly off-roading. You excited? No, I brought a bunch of snacks because I thought I could just like sit on the side of the road and eat while you're doing whatever. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, this should be fun. Mm. We've officially made it to Little Moab. We've got Brandon over there in the Gen 1 Raptor. Got the tires aired down. Might air down a little bit lower, but I think this will give us a pretty comfortable ride. Snacking! <laughs> Snacking is best. Okay, so we just got to the, uh, I guess, uh, rock crawling portion. We got the sway bar disconnected. Four wheel high part time. How are you holding it up? Mm, my eyes twitching. Your eyes twitching? Yeah. Mine doesn't do that anymore, apparently. <laughs> when we were dating, Ben would get so stressed out that his eye would twitch super hard. It was yeah. kind of funny. <laughs> now I'm immune. I have, I have officially become immune. Now I crawled up one of these the other day by myself. I can't remember which one it was though, but we're gonna. At least I might just walk up these rocks. You might just walk. <laughs> I up. just might walk. Here we'll go up. Ah! We'll go up this one here. Okay. Two hands on the wheel. Oh, you wanna hold the camera for me? Two hands on the wheel. Here we go. We're just articulating, that's all. I just bonked my head. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get to the seatbelt thing. This is the easy stuff, by the way. Oh, boo! Ah! So we're taking it slow. <laughs> I can barely see your face. We're yeah. trying. Ow! <laughs> I air down even, and this is still like pretty rough. I feel like you're way too close to me. It probably just shows like my shoulder. Ah! Okay, now you now you're just trolling. Yep. Took okay. you out of the dark though. Oh. Ooh. I mean, it's got to be like the closest close up ever. Hey, you should show this. This in front of us. This ledge over here. There's a ledge. Yeah, you see the ledge? No. Oh, yeah. Ledge. Okay, just. We're gonna try to get around this pickup truck, which is very long. Well, it, we're gonna go over a campfire. We're fine. Oh. Okay. Now I want this to be smooth for Elise, so we're gonna. Oh, shoot. So I'm gonna try to. Actually, no. We're just gonna keep it. I was gonna put it in four wheel low, but this is gonna. This would be a pain to get it in four wheel low. Okay, so I gotta. This is two foot driving. So I'm on the brake and the gas at the same time. Over there we have Brendan. He's following us. Brendan or Brandon? Brendan with an E. Brendan with an E. See, didn't that, wasn't that, didn't that feel good? Yeah, that. Whoa! Yeah. A little bit, okay. I will, I will, I will. I'll take it from here. Yeah, I'll take the camera back. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that little clip of our. Uh, rock crawling <laughs> adventure so far with the Jeep. Um, I'm not gonna have her hold the camera more because I don't want her to get any more uh, sick. So yeah, well I'll keep going on and I'll show you guys anything else that's uh, cool. This is pretty cool. Look at these like crawling rigs. What is that, a blazer? These things look so cool. If you have been watching these vi this video and you own these, you have awesome, like look how cool that thing is. And that's the type of vehicle you want for crawling because like if you break anything, it doesn't feel as bad as, you know, a brand new Jeep like this, but. Yeah, that's fun. Okay, so we got Brandon in the Gen 1. <laughs> He's just squeaking a little bit. That rock is huge. It is crazy to see that truck going down. Here. 
articulation too with the Raptor. What a monster. Well, now I gotta do the Jeep. So I put the uh, GoPro on so you guys can get a point of view here. Um, I did pop into low range. I'm gonna take this way slower than what I normally would take it at. Um, you know, just cause we got, we technically have a baby, we have a baby on board. We do. And we've been careful this whole time. Yeah, we've been going really well, slow. Real slow. Yeah, so I'm in first gear. Now, airing down definitely helped out quite a bit with uh, tire grip. It did make the Jeep a little bit smoother, but frankly, honestly, after this little off-road experience, I want to switch over to a um, little bit of a more bigger lift, 37s, and better shocks so that I have just a cushion. The lift obviously won't help out the cushion, right? But the 37s and the shocks would help out quite a bit because this is still, even if the tires are down, I mean, 25 isn't super low, but it's still just a little bit too rough. Rougher than I'd like. Look at this. I am not... Yeah, we're just going, which like, is fine with me. Th I'm not even using... So this has off-road cruise control. Where is it? Um, right right here. That's yeah, right there. I'm not even using it. I'm just no, doing, doing I'm just first gear and low range. This has such an aggressive axle ratio, 4.56, that this is the cool thing. And, and the 392, this is the cool thing about 392 is you can just crawl down stuff like that. See, is this, does this make off-roading a little bit better? Yes. See? Now the uh, Jeep Wrangler is more wife approved than the T-Rex and the Raptor, sadly. I really like the Raptor, but I still am on of let's sell the TRS. <laughs> oh my goodness. We don't have room in the ah! garage for anything. Sorry, I, sh I shifted by accident. Oh, I like that because I go rah and you go rah. It's fine. Okay, so now we're going to go into neutral and are rolling Not forward. Hit by your buddy. Oh, come on. I'm going too fast. Oops. I'm, I'm trying to get out of. This connects to the bar. Okay. There we go. Okay, I was trying to get I was trying to get back into four wheel high. If you guys don't know what the Wranglers, you have to be like moving. I was going a little bit too fast, but you have to be rolling forward in neutral, and then you can pull it into four wheel low and pull it out of four wheel low. It's kind of a thing. It's not on the fly like a lot of other modern vehicles. But if there's anything else cool that pops up during our little adventure, I'll let you guys know. I wanted to show this on camera because I think this is the coolest thing ever with the 392. So. I'm not touching the gas or the brake right now. And this is like a very slight decline, but uh, basically the 392 has so much torque that you can just idle down trails. Now we're not going very fast. We're like hovering around 10 miles an hour, but this is this is where you can do like, and, and this isn't the most beautiful terrain, but this is where you can do some like sightseeing basically to look at all the shrubs. All these shrubs. Yeah. Well, um, there's, there's some more uh, fun off-roading on the east side, but Problem is, Brandon wouldn't fit with his Raptor very well. Okay. Well, that's, that's one of the downsides of the Raptor. But it, like, this is so cool that it's I can just. Driving itself, basically, with bent steering. Yeah, which is just, which is just not. He just he just revved at us. Yeah, <laughs> no, he's like the Um, which yeah, it's just it's just kind of like, I just idling through. I know it's not super exciting, but. For those of you that just like to explore and everything, that's kind of, it's like um, it's like being on one of those um, little trains that they have in like the zoos or something where you drive through and look at the animals. Oh yeah, safari. Yeah, this is this is like a little, this is a real a life safari. A little animalist safari. I did see a vulture. Yeah. One that's, bird. That's, that's what will eat us when we... When we topple over. Wow. Yeah. So I have brought you guys back because we are on a um, trail that is not necessarily technically difficult. It's just scary. <laughs> so it's a um, 19 degree, oh, 20 degree incline, sorry. As you guys can see up there, but we're like tipped to the side. Uh, you getting the bug? <laughs> sorry. No, you're fine. Got to get out the nervous energy because we're tipped. Oh, I'm getting the I'm getting the angles wrong. Sorry, we're 20 degrees to the side, and it's seven degrees for the hill. So I um, <laughs> he's dead. That was actually this is actually the maybe the most side tippy I've ever gotten. We went up to 24 degrees to the side. I'm gonna ignore that and be proud of myself that I've killed a fly. Can you like wipe it off? But it's a prize now. <laughs> Get 
Get, get that out of here. Get that out of here. Ew. Well, it fell down. Aww. <laughs> Ew. Ew. This laughing service energy, guys, is not actually like a masochist or anything. Okay, I can. Actually, let's get into. Wait, maybe I can. Let me see if I can get in four below while reversing. Oh, yeah. I still haven't used my um, lockers at all. I can't believe I got the angles wrong. I'm like, oh, That's hilarious. I'm we're like, only yeah. six degrees to the side. Nope, we're 23 degrees to the side. I was gonna say, the incline didn't seem that steep. Yeah, I was like 20, this doesn't feel like 20 degrees, but you know. This is actually enough to uh, get my nerves going for the day. Uh, don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. <laughs> well, <laughs> getting tippy to the side is always like nerve wracking. It's nerve wracking. Oh, there's a huge rock here. And I don't have my front like camera Jenna. working, which is fine. Just gotta make sure I go up to the side so I don't hit it. Now it's just rocks. There's not a real trail here. Oh, great. I may have done an oopsie. We might have to turn around. No! I know. <laughs> Go down. Okay, so quick update. Our off-road adventure has turned into a slight misadventure. We are completely lost. And so we're trying to get back. I'm on this um, trail. It's not really a trail. And we're, we're of course on the wrong side of the fence. Like we need to be on the other side of the fence so we can get to the road. Like we are this close to the road go in the wrong direction now but we almost were close to the road but yeah every single time we get close there's fence or it's private property which you know obviously you don't want to go through someone's private property those cows are like what the heck they're staring at us yeah i don't maybe i shouldn't have taken us down this now i'm kind of starting to regret it because now we get to do it all in reverse because we have someone behind us yeah so um well Let's, let's hope let's hope we get back. We got to do a Costco run. Okay, so we are gonna cap off today's video. How are you doing? I'm lost for like an hour. You done with off roading? I'm so done. Well, I'm slowly trying to convince her to get into off roading, but every this is literally, every time we go. Every single time we go, something bad happens. Like when I go by myself, perfect. <laughs> when I take her out, something happens. It's not like she's doing anything. It's just like yeah, the situation. Just like yeah, I don't know. It's um, it's an interesting time. But uh, what I learned from this is the Jeep needs bigger tires and better shocks so it could ride a little bit smoother. It's not like I'd drive it faster than what we drove it today, but just so it'd be like more comfortable, I guess. And so let me know what you guys think I should do, but I think 37s. Get a map. Get a map. I think 37s um, and then a two and a half inch lift and then some upgraded shocks, similar to like the AEV kit that they have. And yeah, see you guys.